my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and I am so happy to see you today. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. It is Friday so you made it through another week. Give yourself a big pat on the back. Give yourself a big hug if you need it. It's from me and it also can be from you. Give yourself that appreciation. Thank yourself for doing such a good job this week. Give yourself permission to breathe. You are out here killing it. You're doing such a good job. I am so proud of you. Hang in there. You got this, okay? Whatever's going on in your life, you got this. We got this. We are all in this together. So, welcome back, my Nomies. If you are new here, welcome to my cozy little corner of YouTube. Uh, I call you guys my Nomies. So, if you are here and this is your first time here, then you're a new Nomie. So, welcome, new Nomie. <laughs> and if you're not new here, welcome back, my Nomie. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, I feel like I said Nomi too many times. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I really am happy you're here today. Uh, today is Friday. It's Community Spotlight, which is all about you guys, which is all about our little community here. Uh, and if you didn't know on Fridays here, we do a video for Community Spotlight uh, where it is all about you guys and I share your makes. So if you want to get in on that, just so you know, for future reference, you can email me at any time Community Spotlight submissions. Uh, my email is in the description box below this video and every video that I post. It is novanomecreations at gmail.com. All you do is shoot me an email, uh, put your name in that email, whatever you would like me to credit you as, attach pictures of whatever it is that you've made, and it does not have to be crochet, by the way. It could be anything you've made, so diamond painting, painting, uh, sculpting, clay play, clay play, I just made that up, uh, anything, like literally anything that you make, uh, diamond painting, I think, did I say diamond painting? You guys get what I'm saying, and it, it could be anything. Um, of course, it can be crochet and it can be knit and it can be loom knit and all those good things too. Um, you send me that email, put community spotlight in the subject line of your email and then send it over. Uh, I will not open it until the Friday that I go to make the video. So anytime you send them, even if you send it right now today after you watch this video, um, it will just go into the next community spotlight. So you could send it at any time. Doesn't matter what day of the week it is. Doesn't matter what time of day it is. It will just always go into the next community spotlight. And I don't open those emails until I go to do my video so that they're in there all bold faced and unopened. And I don't have any confusion about whether or not I've put them into a video before. Um, so if you put any little notes in there that are like time sensitive, um, I will not see them. <laughs> but I do really appreciate you sending in your makes if that's something that you want to do. It is so fun to be able to feature you guys, have a little spotlight on you guys, and show off what you've been up to. This is a really good um, video. This is a really good, uh, not video, what am I looking for? I want to say like resource. I don't know if that's the right word either though. Um, but you know, a resource for all of us because we can come on here and those of us who don't have channels, those of you who don't have channels, um, can still have somewhere to share something that you worked so hard on and that you're proud of. Or maybe you could use a few words of encouragement. You know, a lot of us in our day-to-day -day lives don't have people around us that get it, that are so crafty like we are. And especially when it's something that you do a lot of, like, like say for example, you crochet every day. The people around you, they're very used to you crocheting and it's just not that exciting to them but here we are all like like-minded people and we get excited about those things we're the people that get it you know this is the place to come for the people that get it so I love that we can all share that and then on top of that it's a great place to get inspiration especially if you've lost your crojo or you're just feeling you know kind of uninspired you just want to see what other people are up to maybe things that you would never do it's just it's really fun. So I'm really glad that everybody enjoys it so much and thankful that you guys participate. If you don't send in stuff, that's totally fine too. Um, if you have a minute and you're cool with, you know, leaving a little comment, I love it when you guys leave positive comments. Um, you know, just say something positive about something that someone sent in for Community Spotlight. If you've got a second and you have, you know, a little positive thought come to your mind while you're watching, you know, so-and-so, I love the yarns that you picked, so-and-so, that is an amazing painting, oh my goodness. I would love to have that on my wall. Um, your sister is so lucky or whatever because, you know, a lot of times people are put, putting things in here that are going to be gifts. Um, you know, just whatever that comment 
that comes to your mind is take two seconds to type it out you never know what that person's going through and this kind of just goes for everything in life you never know what that person's going through you never know how badly they needed that little ray of sunshine that your comment might bring it might be the first time they've smiled this week it might be the most positive comment anyone has ever made about their work um you just don't know the impact that you have and by having that little positive you know speck little drop in the pond the ripples that come off of that so that is what today is all about and I do have some happy mail so I've got two happy mails let me peek the corners up to you guys I have not opened them yet and I want to apologize so profusely to the senders if these have been sitting for a while um I am I am so sorry um my hubby gets the mail and for one we don't check our mail every day and I know I disclaimer this like every time I open happy mail um but like things that go to the mailbox and not the porch we don't check it every day because the mailbox is like all the mailboxes for our complex are like in one place um, and we have a really big apartment complex so he stops by we have one mail key he keeps it on his keys he stops by and picks up the mail I know I'm giving like probably an overly long explanation for this but I feel bad um, that we don't get it regularly but on top of that he also is really bad for leaving things in his car or in the truck um, and not bringing them in so if it has been a minute, I am extremely sorry, um, but they are here and they are safe and I'm gonna show them now. Uh, these are probably submissions. This one is definitely a submission for our community blanket. Um, if you haven't been here for a bit, you might not know about it. I haven't talked about it a whole lot recently, but um, we are doing a community blanket project, which is where you guys are sending in squares and I give updates during community spotlights if I get new squares. I always show off every square I receive in the mail. Like I said, sometimes it takes me a little minute to get it onto the video just because life um, but I always show every square I get for one because you deserve that big like thank you that moment to shine uh, and everything and then also so you know that I got it um, but I am putting them all together into a blanket there is no size requirements there is no um, fiber requirements so it's like fabric no fiber requirements so it can have anything in it you know cotton acrylic polyamide uh, mohair um, wool, whatever, whatever yarn you feel like using. But the fun thing is this is a great opportunity for you to make a square that you don't want to make a whole bunch of. So my thing was, this is a great opportunity to pull out those really cool granny square patterns that you don't want to make like a bunch of, but you don't, you want to make it, um, and have fun with it. On top of that, this is also friendly to all skill levels, um, which means even if you're a baby beginner crocheter, or knitter um, and you can only make a little square just like a very basic square of any sort you can send it in so I thought this would be a really fun first um, community project for us because all skill levels can do it um, all, all you need to be able to do is have a little bit of yarn and a few bucks to mail it um, and I know some of these do not cost a few bucks to mail because some of these have come from abroad um, and I totally understand if you can't send in a square by the way things are expensive things are so expensive groceries are so expensive I understand if you can't mail something please do not feel bad that you want to be part of it um, you just hanging out here and being part of the community is more than enough but I am putting together this blanket and I am still working on it behind the scenes um, a little bit here and there it's a long-term project that is just kind of um, something that I pick up when I really want to feel that like love from everybody. Um, this is a really personal project that is, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's such a special project to me. Um, all the pieces are different sizes and different shapes even. Um, and I feel like it represents our community so well, all the different colors, you know, all the different textures and everything. Um, the variety of people here that go together to weave together the fabric of our community. That's kind of how I view this blanket is all of my nomies, all of my friends out there that we have made, that we have gotten together um, here on my channel in our cozy little corner of YouTube, uh, coming together and being connected like physically connected you know you guys sat there with your own two hands and your own yarn from your stash and you put this together and then I get to like put them all together 
in one piece um, and combine them and have it and it's a special keepsake for me. So it means a lot to me that you guys are sending in your squares but there is absolutely no pressure to send in squares. Um, and I do have quite a lot of squares so don't, don't feel like any sort of pressure. Anyways guys, okay so I opened up this one envelope and I'm gonna go ahead and check out the note. Um, and I always read the note to make sure that it's something I can share with the channel and I don't feel like it's too private. So I'm going to hold up the square. Oh, this is cool. I love it. Okay, so the colors are kind of reminiscent of bubble gum or like cotton candy to me. So I'm going to hold it up and I, I love it because it looks like she double stranded it with a thread with like a pink thread, this pretty blue with a pink thread. I love that, so pretty. Uh, it says, Nova, I'm I'm excited to see how the community blanket turns out. Love your channel, hugs and love to your, your fur babies from me and my, uh, my fur babies. Best wishes to you and hubby, Barbara. Sorry that I like butchered that, I'm trying to read it, but, uh, well, not trying to read it, reading it, but uh, I am, uh, stumbling over my words a little bit that is so cute I just get so happy when I when I open these I love it thank you Barbara and I will make sure to pass along the word to the fur babies and the hubby and we send you bunches of love bunches of hugs I'm so excited to see how the community blanket turns out too all right and then I've got one more and it may take me just a second to open this I like to be very careful when I open these, I want to make sure that I don't take any risks with these squares. I don't want to take a risk of cutting any of the squares. So I take my time and I go slow while I open them. All right, let's make sure everything's out of there. I've got a Ziploc baggie and a card. And the Ziploc baggie has a tissue wrapped mystery item. And I'm 100% sure it's a, it's a uh, square. Let's see what the card says. Aw, it's like a little cat with cucumbers over its eyes. Little spa day. That's positively adorable. All right, let me read this real quick. Ooh. Aw. Okay, so I'm actually so excited to see what this square looks like. Should I? Should, yeah, um, let me open the square and then I'll read you guys the card. That way it doesn't, doesn't spoil it for you. You can have like the, the ooh and ah moment and you can look at it while I read you the card. I'm excited. Doo, 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 doo. Alright, I love it when they're wrapped in tissue paper. It feels like such like a little cute present. Ooh. Put that over to the side. Alright. Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, I love that. Oh, that is stunning. That is stunning. Oh my gosh love all right so there are two in here and i will hold up one of them for you um i want to make sure there you go okay so this is absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh i love the color and the sparkle okay uh it says hello sweet nova heart uh thank you for being kind sweet Be and beautiful person that you are I attempted to make the swirly granny squares with Mary Maxim glimmer to make a galaxy effect granny square. I love it. Words cannot express how much you mean to us. We love you. Gorgeous Homestead, AKA Gail and Yuana. Mm, I love it so much. So if you guys didn't know, galaxies are like my thing. If you've been around, you definitely know. I talk about it a lot. Um, but galaxy like motifs, galaxy colors, um, sparkly yarn in general is absolutely my favorite. And this is just like straight up my alley. And you did a fantastic job. 
I love these. I love the yarn. Wow. This is pretty soft too. Man, I need to get me some of this Mary Maxim's glitter yarn. I've actually never ordered from there. I've never ordered from Mary Maxim. I don't know if they have physical storefronts. I feel like that's one of the stores that's like gone completely online, but I don't know. But nope, I've never had anything from there. This is stunning. Oh my gosh, look at that. You guys, these are both gorgeous. I really love sparkly yarn. And my other, um, okay, I have two different things. So my favorite color palette, this baggie is trying to escape. My favorite color palette is Galaxy, which is like purples and pinks and blues, all that kind of swirly together of those colors. But then uh, one of my favorite colors in general is actually like aqua, um, aqua and pink together or mint or teal with pink. I literally love that combo. Actually, a lot of times when we play like video games, hubby and I, um, when I do like the color scheme of my outfits, I'll do like pink and aqua or pink aqua and white um, or like a pink and aqua and like a lavender purple. So I like a couple different color schemes. So these are literally both like perfect in my color schemes. They're so pretty. I love them. Oh, I love it so much. Thank you guys so much. You just made my day. <laughs> um, I am going to get done blabbing to you guys now. Um, I have some emails for Community Spotlight. I know I did check my email to make sure I had some Community Spotlight entries, which I was going to still make a video even if I didn't, but I like to know before I come on and start talking about Community Spotlight to make sure there are some Community Spotlight emails. Um, so I do know that I have some. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to get out your guys' pictures. I'm going to put together our little montage and get this video up for you guys. So I hope you have a beautiful weekend. I hope you take some time for yourself. I hope you get some time to crochet or knit or whatever it is that's going to spark you some joy. Make that time. Even if that time does not present itself to you, make that time. Eek out that time. Carve out that time just for you, not for something you're obligated to do, not for something someone else wants from you just something that's going to make you happy. Even if it's just sitting there doing absolutely nothing, zoning out, closing your eyes, drinking a cup of coffee, whatever, just do that. Take a hot bath. Whatever's going to make you happy. Um, if it's starting to warm up where you are and you're an outdoorsy person, maybe you want to go outside for a little bit. I am an indoorsy person. <laughs> so, you know, people say like, I'm an outdoors person. I'm an indoors person. I am an indoor human. <laughs> But if you like the outdoors, it is starting to warm up for most people. Uh, I saw a few of you guys are like, ah, it's not warming up here yet. So maybe this weekend, maybe it'll start warming up. Um, but anyway, stay safe, guys, especially if you're having inclement weather. There's been like crazy tornadoes going on the last couple of weeks. Um, stay safe, you know, keep an eye on that. But I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you again real soon. Bye, guys. First up, we have our lovely Nomi Julie Ann. She has been hard at work on this amazing diamond painting. She got this from One Day Savings. It's of her late kitty Mojo, who passed away in December of 2021. She said he was the sweetest kitty ever. And to commemorate him, she did this diamond painting. Um, just a couple months later in February, their other kitty Lacey passed away from kidney disease. And she plans on doing a diamond painting for Lacey as well. I think this is the sweetest thing ever in such a sweet, sweet way to remember your, your fur baby. And then our lovely Gail from Gorgeous Homestead made her son's uh, Harvest Moon Animal Parade character uh, for his birthday. So she had him take a picture of his character in game and she did the best that she could to replicate it. I think she did a fantastic job gets like number one mom award because that is the coolest thing ever. And then our lovely Sonia P or crafty Sonia came back with another little homie this week. Um, and she also had to do a little home girl to go with it. Uh, this is her own creation. She couldn't find a pattern for these. Um, and these are for a commission. And last but not least, our beautiful Frozen made these Yip Yips with a pattern by Beyond the Lens. These are so cute. And I thought I'd throw in a little update on the Mush Cat that I showed you guys on Whip Wednesday. Here it's uh, with its all of its spots on its hat and its little kitty ears.
Have a great weekend, guys.